Welcome to the supplier tutorial where we will illustrate how to submit a quote using the supplier profile on the e-procurement solution. In order to submit a quote the supplier should have had registered and activated their profile on the e-procurement solution. Please refer to the previous video for instructions on how to register and activate the supplier profile. Once registered, and your profile has been activated, you are required to log in. In the user login ID number, insert your unique CSD, M, AAA number and password and then click on the sign in button. For suppliers accessing the solution for the first time, the system will prompt you to review the terms and conditions. Check the tick box and accept the terms and conditions. You will be directed to the following landing page that will reflect the detail of the supplier's profile. To view the opportunities that you are invited to, click on the More Info icon. In order to respond, the supplier must click on the Action icon next to the RFQ. This will enable other options to the supplier. The supplier can either view the RFQ or respond to, or decline the RFQ or send messages related to this RFQ. In this illustration, the supplier will click on the respond button in order to respond to the RFQ. The following screen will pop up whereby the supplier will be required to navigate through the supplier screen by responding to certain questions, submitting the quoted prices or uploading any related supporting documentation. The supplier will also be able to view the detailed specifications prior to submitting any response. The first section includes compulsory questions related to the supplier profile. Please review all the questions prior to answering as these answers will be utilized when consolidating the supplier response. The supplier can also upload any supporting documentation relating to the RFQ. The file can be a cost breakdown, a picture or any other file that may be required, in order to support the submitted price. The commercial terms relevant to this RFQ is also visible to the supplier. The next section refers to the conditions of tender. This section will include the quote validity period and any clarifications meeting details, where applicable. The last section tab refers to the item and specifications tab. Suppliers are required to carefully review the detailed specifications and attachments if applicable. For the purpose of this illustration, the supplier is required to respond to a RFQ for a computer server. Note that the unit of measure required is each. This means that the supplier will be quoting on one computer server only. Insert your unit price, the brand name, the country of manufacture, the delivery period, the guarantee period and indicate if the offer meets the required specifications. When scrolling further down, the supplier is able to view the other items required on the RFQ and submit its responses accordingly. Scroll to the top if you need to confirm whether the RFQ is advertised as a line or a lot. When the RFQ is advertised as a lot, the supplier will be prompted to respond to all the line items in the RFQ, as advertised. However when the RFQ is advertised as a line, the supplier has the option to respond only on the individual line items they are able to quote on or supply. Take note that the EPS will calculate the total submitted price to be submitted for this RFQ. The supplier has an option to save or submit the quotation. Click on the Submit button to submit this RFQ. After the RFQ was submitted the system will record a date and timestamp on which the RFQ was responded to as well as the last date the RFQ was viewed. The supplier will also be able to amend their response at any time until the closure of the RFQ. Only the latest response will be saved to the EPS solution that will reflect the latest changes prior to the closure of the RFQ. Should you have any further inquiries, you may contact the Western Cape government via email indicated on the screen.